are heading to Coleman right now. Uh, let's see, at Coleman, there's a pretty, pretty cool uh, waterfall over there. Um, it's gonna be uh, fun getting there. It's gonna be a little bumpy, kind of like Colorado. But we are on the way. So this is my first attempt with doing voiceover. So a little bit about, uh, was it Charlie's Creek that the previous video we just did? So Charlie's Creek and also Coleman are part of the uh, Georgia Traverse trail system. So here in Coleman, for the most part, Coleman is pretty boring. It's pretty easy driving. Um, you get to a certain part of the trail where it splits into a Y. If you take a right turn, that takes you to the waterfall. So the Georgia Traverse starts from Alabama and it runs all the way across northern Georgia into part of Tennessee and it basically dead in right at the corner where Georgia meets South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Uh, all the trails in Tro Georgia Traverse are pretty easily done in a, you know, in a small sedan. Um, there are sections where it's a little rutted out, but you know, nothing that a little maneuvering can't get you through. So we are approaching the entrance to the waterfall. I guess you can call it the entrance. It's really, if you continue to the left, it'll take you to a campsite. And then right before the campsite, you can hike to the waterfall. Uh, the gate for that is closed. So we stay to the right. On the right side, that is the Georgia Traverse Trail. So you continue on that, it'll connect you to the uh, another main road that is the Georgia Traverse system. Um, it was getting late, we decided not to do that. We turned around and started heading back up to the top of uh, Coleman, to the top of the mountain of Coleman.
So this is a good example why you need four low. So these V8 4Runner, they are full time, four wheel drive, mini, I'm always in four wheel drive. But I have a knob that can switch it from four high to four low. And also the V8 four wheel drives, they have um, a what they call center diff lock because it's full time four wheel drive. Center diff lock is you lock your transfer case so that is in so that the power is split 50-50. 50% up front, 50% in the rear. And then for low, that increases your torque through gear reduction. to the waterfall or continues on with the uh, Georgia Traverse has been recently serviced by one of the uh, hiking club but as you can see here the trail that takes you to the top of Coleman has not been done and the uh, the trees and the bush and stuff on the side of the trail are pretty thick This uh, Coleman Mountain, and uh, so me and my wife we swap seat. She's driving, and I'm in the passenger seat flying the drone. It was pretty tricky. There's a lot of trees and a lot of vines, and uh, you know stuff out there to to catch the drone. So I was very careful flying it slowly. pretty hard flying a drone uh, while you're in a vehicle because uh, the forerunner or any vehicle overall is constantly bouncing up and down and I'm looking down in my tiny little phone screen trying to you know keep things in place you know try not to fly the drone to a tree or whatever
perfect example. As soon as we got to the top of uh, Coleman Mountain, my wife yelled out, oh crap, there's someone behind us. And so I look and just that split second, I lost control of the drone and obviously hit a tree. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. This is the end to Coleman. Please like and subscribe. Me, my wife, and my buddy Miles, we go off-roading in Colorado basically every weekend and, and more content will be coming. I'm getting better and better at making videos even though most people don't realize it takes a lot of time editing and cropping you know just to get one of these videos together so for you guys to show that you appreciate my work please uh you know stay tuned stay subscribed and keep watching my videos more will come